Hey guys, HW here. It's a beautiful day in Sydney today. It's 30 degrees Celsius. Um, which I think that what's that make that about 86 Fahrenheit, I think. And uh, we're going to have like four or five days straight like that. It's clear blue sky. Um, it is a bit warm though. Um, I like to call it hot as balls. But um, I'm actually sitting on the end of the finger wharfs. Let's flip the camera around. The finger wharfs um, next to the harbour bridge on the western side. And this finger wharf here is actually the base for the Sydney Theatre Company uh, and Sydney Dance Company. And I thought I'd take a little stroll through here and then I'm going to tread where a lot of tourists tread and that's walking along the harbour foreshore and then past the cruise terminal because I just thought it was just such a damn good day today to take in this scenery, uh, especially the harbour. On a hot stinking day, you've got to be near the water, right? And I tell you what, HW is a bit sweaty already uh, walking along in the heat. But uh, I'll do, do my best to capture some nice pictures for you as we uh, walk along. I might switch the camera on and off a bit because I'm not going to film all the way along these wharves here because it'll get a bit, a bit boring. But we're just passing by the, uh, the Sydney Theatre Company wharf just here now. I noticed a few young uh, dancers and actors getting ready before outside one of the stage doors. I'd assume that they're practicing for a, an upcoming show. So a lot of people use these wharves to, to go for a jog at lunchtime. Uh, very similar to the wharves that you see in San Francisco. And you see people running up and down those in the early morning, at lunchtime, and after work. So there's another one of the wharves um, over that side. There's a whole bunch of them. I'm, I, I vaguely remember at some stage they were actually talking about getting rid of some of these wharves back in the uh, back in the 80s. But uh, a lot of people arced up and made sure that they got saved as part of our heritage. And now they've all been, you know, redeveloped and refitted into the beautiful buildings that they are today. So thank goodness they hung on to them. They pass as a train on top of the bridge up there, on top of the Harbour Bridge. Always in my mind, I pictured that the wharves jutted out from that way back towards the water. Uh, in my mind, I never realised that there was buildings in between, like this one here, that stretched across the front. But it's like that all the way along. It's just that when you come over the bridge or when you're driving past, you only notice the actual finger wharves themselves that are jutting out into the water, out into the beautiful Sydney Harbour. You don't notice these side buildings. So I'll just flick off here and then I'll rejoin you over there where that tunnel is. Just there. All right, we're back. Just walking through this tunnel and there's a beautiful breeze flowing through it as I walk through. Lunar Park starts to come into focus over there. Mm, there's a there's a real smell of um, chemical or, or paint solvent as I go past this wharf. I don't know what that's all about. This one over here they call P1. Just that one there. That used to be the the in place to go back in the uh, back in the day. I don't know whether it still is. It used to be popu popular with wedding receptions and 21st birthdays and all the rest of it. I went to a few parties there 
over my time, but I haven't been there for a long time. There's a restaurant right at the end that's got a really nice view over the harbour, of course. That approach to the harbour bridge up there, have a look at these nice terrace houses right on the hill here. Beautiful. Can't believe these people that are out jogging in 30 degrees Celsius. I was dumb once and used to do that, but not anymore. If I do go for a run now, I do it early in the morning if it's going to be a hot day or later in the evening. These people are just on suicide missions running in this. I get it they want to have a run in their lunch break, but it's just too hot. Here it is, here's the sign for Pier 1. It's the entrance. Little cocktail cocktail bar in the foyer there, and then the restaurants up here. Up on the top level, up on the top level up there. And when we get down there and you'll see the uh, you'll see the views that it commands over the harbour. Now the train passes overhead up on the bridge. Uh, it's a nice whiff of smell coming off those garbage bins there. That wasn't delightful at all. Yeah, here's the uh, here's the restaurant areas up here the top up there and down the bottom and they overlook the water and Luna Park across the way there when I first came out of the station today I didn't notice how gusty the wind was and now I'm down near the water of course it's uh, it's quite blustery See if I can extend this tripod up a bit. There's a few uh, ferries coming into Circular Quay. There's a cruise ship in town at the moment, just like the other day. And when we get closer to the overseas cruise terminal, we'll get a good view of it. But we're just about to pass under the Harbour Ridge here. It never ends the maintenance on the Harbour Bridge. It's always been painted. Some ye old photos from the old days over here of how the rocks used to look back in the day and, and the Harbour Bridge being constructed. See if I can get it closer to it without getting run over. Yeah, can you believe that? That's what Sydney Cove used to look like. Well, actually, that one's Miller's Point. This one with the with the cannons facing towards the harbour. There you go. There's a shot of the harbour bridge, not yet completed. get back across here before I get run over I'll we'll leave the bridge behind
There she is, there's the opera house over there. You've seen that before. I'm going to do another vid soon over at the beaches over at the beaches in the eastern suburbs to show you how many beautiful beaches Sydney has as tourists just don't get it when they come here and maybe they spend a bit of time around the harbour um, they may catch a, a bus out to Bondi Beach or get a tour bus out there but that's where they stop they don't realise there's an, a, a whole collection of beaches along the eastern suburbs that are world class So I'm going to get over there at one stage and film it for you while it's still, while we've still got this summer weather. This little tourist boat whisking past there. Guy getting himself a little snap of the opera house. I just said, all, all right, while well, I was holding the, the microphone away. Um, let's do that again. All right, so here's the uh, Celebrity Eclipse, which is the cruise ship that's docked in the overseas passenger terminal at the moment in Sydney. Few people over here enjoying the sun, doing a bit of sun baking on the grass. Look at all those people up there on that, on those top two decks, just sitting there. For goodness sake, it's Sydney. Get off the boat and have a walk around. What the hell are they doing? Oh, there's a couple just there sitting in their um, suite. Over you can see them there lapping up the sun. We're going to see a lot of tourists as we walk along here, that's for sure. Keep filming as long as I can. At some stage though, in this hot weather, the camera is going to shut down, overheat. I'll take a rest then. These people on this celebrity eclipse, though, they've they picked a good week to land in Sydney with this beautiful weather. If you wanted to come to Australia for the summer and enjoy the uh, the warm weather, these are the days that you wanted to be here.
This is a boring little stretch just here before we get under the bridge over there. So I'll switch off and come back to you over there. All right, we're actually right next to the boat now. A few people rolling their suitcases into it. I don't know whether that meant that they stayed in Sydney a couple of nights and then got back on the boat or whether they're joining the boat for the first time. I'm not too sure. When there's no boats in town, all of this area is opened up. All the way down there, and there's all these like bars and restaurants that are open to the public. But while the boat's docked, it's all closed up. Okay, here's a few more people rolling their suitcases down there. a contemporary art museum over there all right next to circular key the other day I filmed this building here this long one here and I found out it's actually Salesforce Tower I only remembered them being down at Darling Park, down near Darling Harbour, but they've obviously since moved to a new location. The construction going on right next to the the water. Probably building a few more uh, landing spots for boats. There's the front of the ship over there. The other day when I walked past, it was raining. I didn't fancy an ice cream, but <laughs> now it's stinking hot watching all these people hoovering down these ice creams. I feel like one. That guy's technique was supreme. He gave like a little flick of the wrist and a lick all in one motion. It was magical. And this is where we ended the vid the other day, or the, the yeah, the last video that I uploaded. Looks very different today, doesn't it? I'm going to get myself something to eat. And then uh, I'll then see if I can uh, have a quick nectar with you after that. So, see you again soon. All right, <clears throat> I'm picking up in Bond Street. I just whipped down a quick chicken burger um, across the road from Circular Quay and a nice little arcade. I went to that, um, there's, a, there's a chain of them, it's called Snits. I had one of those, so it's basically just a chicken schnitzel on a, uh, on a roll. Which we call a burger, but the Americans call a sandwich.
again just like the other video I'm not gonna have time to have a sit down coffee with you today but I thought I might try out this uh, neat little coffee shop at the mouth of the Wynyard station that I've been spying as I walk past a couple of times so I'm gonna grab a takeaway from there and then I might have um, and I might have a have a coffee with you on the on the train Just crossing over George Street. There's a Met Center in there. It's a shopping center tunnel complex that you can walk right into the station. A mate of mine, his father used to be a chemist in there. He had a chemist in that tunnel for a long time. And then he moved out to different locations. He's retired now and, and unfortunately passed away as well. I didn't point this out last time I walked through here in the last video, but all the street furniture that they've stuck in now on George Street it's nice and colourful. Gives people somewhere to sit down on a nice day, but I wonder how long it's going to take before it gets graffitied or gets bird crap all over it. See Santa Point Tower popping out the top over there. All right, let's get into Winyard and get to this. Uh, nectar joint that I've been eyeing off for a while. I might walk down the stairs and face the camera this way so that you don't see my ugly big mass in the in the mirror that's directly in front of me right now. There it is, can you see it? Just those subtle lights coming down from that dark colour. That's where I'm going. Let's see how quick they are. Hey man, can I get a flat white? So here's the place here called Edition Roasters. These delightful pastries and cakes in the uh, window here. And uh, looks like you can pick yourself up some beans to carry home as well. So yeah, let's see how this uh, flat white turns out. Nice little bar just outside Priceline Pharmacy in the Weedhead. Mate, from what I've seen so far, I rate this joint. So let's see what the coffee tastes like. All right, I've secured the nectar from Edition Roasters. Just looking up at the board here and see when I can get a train back over to the North Shore. Looks like it's in six minutes, so got a bit of time to mill around. Here's my nectar here. Edition Roasters. I, I couldn't help myself, I had a little taste. It's, uh, it's quite delicious. Let's head up the stairs, up to platform three and four. Three takes you to central, four takes you over the North Shore. All right, on the train heading back over to North Sydney. Got my nectar in hand. My dish and roosters. If we look out the window into the harbour, I'll say goodbye to you.
Thanks for coming on the little skirt today. Oh, let's look out this window as well. Well, that'll be it for today. The video is over.